Hi there, good morning from England. How are you today? My name is Danny Henderson and welcome to my beautiful channel. I'm going to give you an update on the guests that are coming up in the next few days and just to check on you all and say hello and send you some love. Um, I know at the moment um, we're all wondering what on earth is happening on the beautiful beloved island of Maui, in particular Lahaina. Um, I did actually reach out to the mayor, Mayor Bisson. I know somebody who knows him intimately and I did invite him onto my channel so we could hear um, him chat. Um, of course, I'm just somebody on a YouTube with a very small channel, but even so it doesn't stop me reaching out to people um, to hear their words and it shouldn't stop you either no matter if you have a channel or not whether you have a tiny channel it doesn't matter you know there are so many things that we can do as humans um, to help our brothers and our sisters and I've heard that Mayor Bisson is a really beautiful man and he's all about aloha and the, you know that the, the, the energy of aloha the Hawaiian people um, and I know that our hearts do go out to them to the indigenous to every nation that exists on these beautiful islands um, there's a book I bought this when I was living on Kauai recently um, and it's called Then There Were None. I do invite you to read and um, educate yourselves more because obviously things like uh, Wikipedia, um, the things you read online, they're altered, they're messed with, people are deleting the real history of our planet, but you know that, right? It goes back as far as your Encyclopedia Britannica and you've got to look at who wrote those and who changed the history in those. Uh, this book, Then There Were None, is based on a documentary um, on the true history of our beautiful um, Hawaiian brothers and sisters, you know, some of the founding humans on our planet and their beautiful um, historical lands and their traditions that uh, American government tried to delete, uh, still to this day trying to delete, but of course they will fail because when failures are running things, it might take a long time, but eventually they all do fall. We have to remember that. We have to trust in the energy and the frequency of love, the unification of all of our hearts and souls, those of us that have hearts and souls and those of us that love humanity, those of us that can come and live in this beautiful world of ours and I for one will not have my voice edited. I mean, my mum couldn't calm me down and you've not met my mum, you probably don't want to. She's quite a fierce lady, or she certainly used to be, and she couldn't even control me. So, you know, nobody else is going to. So I do invite you, keep on speaking out, speaking out, rebel against the lies that are coming. I don't incite violence, of course I don't. Um, even if we do want to slap your bitch here and there. Um, but we do have voices, we do have passion, and there are billions of us compared to um, maybe a couple of million um, of the dirt bags that try to tell you what to think, what to read, what to eat, what to take, da 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 da. Uh, moving on, uh, I wanted to also say that, you know, um, the people that run Maui, for example, um, as we know with the Masonics, the Freemasons, you know, all of the major organizations, systems are infiltrated by really bad people. But there are also so many good people so many wonderful people. In the Masons, for example, we know that there's so many great brothers in cities and towns across the whole world, good Masonic brothers. And there are those that know nothing of the infiltration. They are innocent, they know nothing of. So we've got to start you know, realizing that when we're casting aspersions on an entire system, um, it's not all you know, run by bad people. But when you come to the religion of Satanism, which is the main religion for the dark ones at the top, well, then I've got no, no respect for that. Uh, moving along. Oh gosh, I can't even tell you what's coming up. I'm so excited. Let me show you this great book. This is the greatest book written in the last two years, in my opinion. It's called The Cedars, Return of the Gods. This is written by my friend, Elena Danan who is the Earth of Mystery. She's representing star nations, our star nations. You know that we have millions of star nations in our, well, many in our solar system too. Of course, NASA will never tell you that. NASA might not know. They don't know everything. And they certainly aren't the first ports of authority on what's happening and the history of your planet, my planet and the history of the solar system. So we realize this is a very, very, very thick book. It has many different diagrams, many different pictures of our brothers and our sisters, the things that were happening in Antarctica with the government's uh, representatives in the last couple of years. So what Elena and I have done is we've taken hours 
to break down this book for you. So our second and third broadcasts are coming out. Uh, we realize that everybody um, in certain environments are so stressed out, they haven't got time to buy a book, read a book, they've got too much on their plates. We're trying to survive, trying to eat, trying to get clean water, clean air, clean food. I'm not just referring to Maui. And by the way, those of you that can keep sending help, keep sending help, you know, money, food, but make sure the money goes into the hands of the people that need it. I work with beautiful children in Uganda, in a slum in Uganda. I've done broadcasts with them on this channel. I brought them on to sing. We've got them guitars and keyboards and for their musical, um, you know, ability. And somebody else, uh, Serge, um, a guy that was watching on Facebook and here, um, he and his uh, religious organization, they went down to Uganda and they built toilets because in this slum village, grown men and women are pooping in the water. The drains are open. People are drinking out of that. They're peeing and pooing because they have nowhere else to go. Their government has abandoned them. There are slum cities all over the world. Why are our brothers and our sisters living like this? Who has allowed this? The governments of your world, the systems, the local authorities. Some of them have no chance in helping because they are the good ones. But who is the overriding? Who is the overriding God in all of this? Come on. So anyway, there are things we can do. You watch broadcasts, you take action, you take action, you take action. Those of you who are in really dire straits, you've got to focus on you, boo. You've got to put you first. You've got to think about you. You've got to get well with you. You've got to get right with you. You've got to make sure you're well and healthy and healing in your own internal healing med bed way. We're all med beds. We're all our own beautiful healing technology. When we focus inside and we work on healing that inner child, then we can do so much more to help others. Um, a lot to say here. I'm not going to go too much into a, a spiely lecture. Um, I'll do that in my broadcast. Uh, so to continue on with the cedars, uh, the space journeys, uh, and um, the, the, the evidences that are coming out and how we can stand and push forward as a humanity without the hierarchical systems that don't serve us, they never did. In the book, The Cedars, Elena and I help you understand more of the true history of your planet and how amazing you are. Oh my God, you are the most amazing being. We are the most amazing humans. There are other humans in the solar system, humanoids, aliens, ETs, whatever you want to call them. They all admire us. They all admire this beautiful vessel that we've been given to move around in on this planet. Um, our souls are precious. Our spirits are precious. We are precious. We are so, so precious. And let no one tell you otherwise. And if you're with people that tell you you're nothing, you're worthless, move along. They're not your people. They are not your people. Um, okay, so that's the Hawaiian book. Then there were none. There's a documentary online, a documentary. You can read the documentary or you can get the book. I bought this at the Kauai Museum on the island of Kauai. Um, it's so special and again gives you real truth on the history of our Hawaiian brothers and sisters. Now I want to move to my friend and my brother, Tony Rodriguez. Tony Rodriguez is another extremely important man on this planet, an extremely important voice on planet Earth. He is so humble. He thought he was nothing. He thought he was just kidnapped by an Illuminati family, sold into the Earth military, American military, traded off planet on the moon, the lunar base, lunar operations. For those of you that may never have heard of that, there's a thousand broadcasts you can now watch on Elena Danan's channel, Michael Sala's channel, anything Alex Collier's ever said, Tony Rodriguez, Jean-Charles Moyen. These are the great speakers of truth in this day and age. Now, this book is called Series Colony Cavalier. Ceres is a star system in your star system, in your solar system. And he worked on uh, Ceres for a long time as a slave. And, uh, you know, I, I'm a close friend of Tony's. I consider myself a close friend. And it's taken me till now, August 16th, to have the courage to read this book. What I'm glad is that I watched and I did broadcast with him. So I knew a lot of what he was 
sharing in this book but it is not an easy read but an, a read i encourage you if you want to know the true history of your planet how your governments work what's happening read this now his second book is project star maker now he said danny don't read this one first well i didn't listen and i did read this one first and as i'm going through it i was a little bit confused and now i'm reading series colony cavalier because he clearly says this is book two it is unbelievable to think or even contemplate that there are beings around the solar system that make and create stars, actual stars. I know it goes against the one thinking of God made everything in the universe. Well, it depends what you look at God as being, but I can tell you that even the star nations, the star races, believe in a creator source. Call it God, call it whatever you want. There is a belief that holds strong across the solar systems, but the systems that we've been repressed into thinking and, and just focusing on, we're finding out that there is a lot of dishonesty and corruption in those. But it's all right. It's all right. You know, we're on a journey. We're on a journey. We can decide to call out blasphemy and curse. And gosh, I've lived my whole life with people saying that and doing that to me. But, you know, you have a right to... Take a moment to read other things. It's all right. Nothing's going to happen to you, but your mind will expand. I invite you. Let your mind expand. Read some books that will give you different insight. No, they are not demonic. No, they are not demonic. The demons are the ones running your planet. They are the demonic ones, the soulless ones. Oh, how they laugh at you. How they jeer at you. How they're planning a second. Do you know what? Lock the doors. Eat what we tell you. Take what we tell you. That's all planned to come, but it's not going to come. Now, moving on to the guests that are coming on. Oh, my goodness. In terms of heroes and heroines and leaders on this planet, I consider Captain Paul Watson such a person. Captain Paul Watson will be on this channel. This man is from the very founding days, the very beginning days of Greenpeace. In this day and age, in 2023, he runs and founds the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society. This man is a modern day good pirate, a commander of a fleet, a sea captain, a man who lives his life going into Iceland, busting up whaling meat production factories. Do you know, at one point, he was actually going around and he was putting red paint on the white perfect pelts, the fur pelts of the baby seal pups. He was a man that was out there, out on the ice for us, for them, for the animal kingdom. He would paint red on the baby seal pups' white pelts to devalue their fur. So the murderous ones that would come and club those babies over the head and take them and skin them and sell them for their parts, they wouldn't be able to. You're going to hear a lot more about this beautiful man, Captain Paul Watson, and I cannot wait to share him with those of you that have never heard of him, never met him. Wow, you are going to be amazed. Also coming up, we have Redbone. Remember the group Redbone? Come and get your love. Come get your love. It is a classic, a classic song. And this was sung by a man called Pat Vegas, who's coming on my channel, an original founder with his brother, Lolly, now deceased. Pat is gonna be here this week on my channel, the original founder of Redbone, the indigenous Native American, Native Mexican group. Redbone is a Cajun term for mixed race. They were the only and the most famous uh, indigenous band um, in the music charts and uh, everyone knows that song come get your love he's going to be at the conference he'll be in the audience we're going to honor him we're going to play his beautiful song he's coming on my channel uh, with his uh, ex-wife and great friend a sailor um, and they're going to share his new music and the history again indigenous history the true history of the music industry we have the true history of the oceans we have the true history of what's happening in space this is where we get an education. My channel is for us. My channel is for all of us to, to bring and learn as much as we can about the true history of our earth, 
and her beings and her ocean dwelling beings and everything in between upstairs in the solar system and downstairs. So we've got Redbone coming up, uh, the history uh, of the Native Americans. Uh, they were in the um, in the, the top five with that song, the top five. He's also sung with and sung on records with Tina Turner, Elvis Presley, like a real legend in musical history. Um, and one of his songs is, We Were All Wounded at Wounded Knee. A lot of you may have heard of that native um, catastrophe uh, from outside forces trying to take the lands. They've always tried to take the lands. They, the white man, it's not even about the white man, it's about the power that asserted itself into our great and beautiful planet that is no more. We're seeing the systems crumbling. There's last minute grabs and harms happening but we will stand strong, we will rise in love, and we will unify as humans were always meant to be. Um, so uh, there's another song to look up online, We Were All Wounded at Wounded Knee by um, Redbird. Okay, moving on, we also have, I'm so excited because the greatest disclosure conference ever on, on planet Earth is happening for its second year. We did it last year, October. We're doing it this year again. It's called, in brief, JISIC, which is Galactic Spiritual Informers Connection. Because the galactic people with information and the spiritual people, which we all are part of a spiritual realm, they are standing on stage and informing you, informing me, informing us of their true life experiences. Not when they sat in meditation and had a wonderful astral projection or a deep meditative, you know, wandering or a, an imaginary connection to guides and ghosts. And uh, But these are people with physical evidence and I need for myself, if I speak on something, show me proof, show me your proof, prove it to me, prove it to me. These people have done a really good job in them. And now when someone says to me, prove it to me, I'm like, you're in the back rear view mirror, Go ahead and do some watching on YouTube, which has become the modern day television. Go and look up many, many different broadcasts on the things that interest you. On Elena Danan's channel, anything Tony Rodriguez has done and TonyRodriguez.com, anything that Michael Sala has done, it's one of the greatest channels ever. Michael Sala, S-A-L-L-A, -L -L -A, Dr. Michael Sala, who will also be a speaker on stage at JISIC. Um, he's working with an army informer who is called JP. JP is telling us what the military are doing. JP is telling us about the hidden Egyptian temples and treasures in the valleys in Arizona. JP is telling us about the spaceports and the space arcs, giant spacecraft in the earth, under the oceans, on your planet, on your planet planet so exciting they're all reactivating everything's reactivating all the good the love the truth is coming up that's why the bad guys are pooping their diapers um because they're out of you know they're in the forefront now they can't hide behind their curtains anymore they're out and they're really screwing up and really showing who they are which is a good thing but a bit bumpy for us too um i also have coming up um a wonderful lady um she's a therapist and she's very spiritual and her name is dennis and she plays beautiful crystal balls and she is a bridge between our spanish speaking brothers and sisters and our english speaking brothers and sisters and i'm excited to get her on my channel so she can share with you her breadth of knowledge because so many of you are frustrated you're like i don't speak good english help me Dennis is somebody who can help bridge that gap. And that is why she'll be on my channel too. So we look forward to having her. I'm also getting my girlfriend, Andrea Falks, on here in the next couple of weeks. Andrea Falks is such a beauty. You know, right now she's dealing with her dad, who's 96, going through the horrific uh, medical care in the British system um, and has so much to say on that. Uh, but she is somebody who will deal with your ancestral pains, your ancestral roots, the DNA healing that you need to do, some of you in your body. She she works with the inner child healing. Uh, she, like me, she used to be a model. We used to both be on QVC television years ago. We've both been on British national television, but Andrea was the one who was on um, This Morning and Wake Up Great Britain shows. And she was putting those main new speakers and presenters like Philip Schofield, who's recently been shamed um, for... Um, potentially abusing his position as a presenter and, and having underage sex. I mean, I don't know why uh, we focus so much on on um, the um, the negatives, and I don't want to go down that road, but um, she was the person that was 
hypnotizing and proving that there are past life memories that are lodged not just in the brain but in the cellular memory uh she's fascinating she's just a joy and a sunshine and i know many of you that have seen her before you really enjoy her so she'll be here too i uh, also want to tell you that i'm doing a round table we're going to be doing several round tables as we come up to jisik jisik galactic spiritual informers it's only 64 days away 64 days that's it in Orlando, Florida, get your tickets. Go to the website galacticspiritualinformers.com. Galacticspiritualinformers.com. Get your ticket and then go to the link you're given and get your discounted hotel rooms. Now, if three of you come together, you will get a 15% discount, but you've got to buy three tickets at the same time to get that discount. It's a chunk of saving, 15%. Tickets are $6.55 each. That's three full days of the most incredible speakers. It's like watching the Rolling Stones, Elvis Presley and the Beatles. You know what I mean? In terms of the greatness, the, the historical moments that we are making at this great conference, the Galactic Spiritual Informers Connection. So I'm creating a round table with the female speakers. We have Elena Danan. We have Karina Pataki. We have Dr. Christiane Northrup. We have the great British medium, Nikki Allen. We have oh, Melanie Charest from France. Melanie Charest, who is the wife of Jean-Charles Moyen. And, and Melanie Charest will share with you her off-planet rescue of hybrid children. Oh yes, absolutely mind-blowing information. Um, so these ladies are coming together next week on a round table, they're gonna tell you what they're gonna be speaking about. They're gonna share some fun and some love with you. Uh, and then coming up shortly after that, uh, we're gonna have the Jessic boys, the Jessic men, which is Dr. Sala, Dr. Michael Sala, Jean-Charles Moyen, Tony Rodriguez, Brad Olson. Okay, brain fart, sorry. Um, I can't remember who else is there, but the, the beautiful men, the beautiful Jisik men. Um, Chris O'Connor will not be attending this year's Jisik, and so the medbed that is still being created uh, will not be there this year. Uh, we will have other technology to share with you, but that medbed will not be there this year. So we're bringing the Jisik girls, the Jisik boys, and next week, the speaker that I've not been able to name his name yet, I've been telling you for weeks, there's one more speaker. I'm going to bring him on my channel next week. Um, he is an alien. He is an extraterrestrial. He is a beautiful being. And you're going to see him. And he is a speaker. And I will tell you that he will only be on Zoom for this. Only because of the commitments that he has. Only because of that. But you will see him on my channel. We'll have an open conversation. And you can decide for yourself. You will feel his frequency. You will look into his eyes. He looks similar to our brother Valnek, um, or also we call Valnek Valorian. Um, Jerry Wills um, it has a very uh, defined uh, look. There's, lo there's lots of physical signatures that we see in other humans that we know represent other off-planet friends. Um, and so I know there's absolutely no um, way that you can get any information on Valnet, the true Valnet, because he was taken off planet in 2021. But when I bring Jerry on, you'll be able to look and see the actual, um, the way around his eyes, he looks very similar to Valnick, uh, to Valorian. So that'll be absolutely beautiful. Wait till you hear his story. It is absolutely fascinating. Fascinating. Jerry and many other newborns were brought here and dumped off um, as a means to bring more people with star technology and information into humanity. And they all came in with the most amazing psychic healing abilities because they came in as fully realized humans, which is what Jesus Christ did. He came in as a fully realized, beautiful human to say to humanity, what I do, you can do too. Who I am, you are too. The divinity that I am, you are too. No, it's not blasphemous. Don't let your rigid, murderous religious systems and programs um, click in. That used to happen to me in the evangelical Pentecostal. I freed myself from that prison. And now I just breathe in the love of Christ, the, the beauty of love, the love for humanity um, and all that that brings. Um, I think that's it for now. 
I uh, just wanted to drop in, give you some love. And I just want to say to you too, I know it's really bumpy. I know the wheels are coming off. Uh, for those of you that want to book a private session with me, I'm going to give you an email. I can only see so many of you. I do do my best um, for a therapy session with me, a spiritual mentoring, a listening to, a hanging out. Uh, the email is dannyspiritualtherapist at gmail.com. And Danny is D A N I, Danny Spiritual Therapist at gmail.com. If you email me there, I have a higher chance of seeing your emails. So many emails get blocked. The YouTube channel gets blocked, it gets struck, it gets this, it gets that. Um, so try Danny Spiritual Therapist at gmail.com. I will send you a list of the things that we can go into. Um, and we can take it from there. I'm only opening the books until October. That's it. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a pretty big conference that I'm very involved with that takes up a lot of time to bring you the best and the greatest. Um, so there's a lot of obviously needs for my attention uh, to be there too. Uh, but you can come for your uh, therapy sessions uh, on the Danny Spiritual Therapist at gmail.com email. Um, in closing, uh, remember, as the wheels come off, all of the things that you used to believe to be true, you're finding out they weren't true. So many things, so many heartaches, so many disappointments in the leaders on the planet, in the systems that we were plugged into and imprisoned by. But it's all right. It's all right. We're going to be OK. We're going to be OK. You have to believe that for your own sanity. Breathe inside. Sit with yourself. Feel the pain in your body. Sit there and imagine it dissolving. Bring love in. Bring light in. Sit there. Take your breath. If you don't breathe into the body, we all die without breath, don't we? Got to oxygenate, even though they're polluting the air. Do the best you can with what you have right now. You don't need to go to the gym. You can stand up and down and do squats. You can watch this broadcast and just walk on the spot. That's all it takes. If you can walk and you can stand, you can put on broadcast and you can walk on the spot. That's going to open your chest. That's going to get that heart pumping, that blood pumping. Goodness me. There's so much we can do without the program of, oh, I need to go to the gym. I need to buy, buy certain water. I need to buy organic food. Yes, great. If you have the money for that, wonderful. But not everybody does. Here's something else. Pull up your lawns. Pull them up. Pull up your lawns. Plant seeds. Grow your food. It's amazing. Why do we even have these laws? We should have natural wildflowers, and which are medicinal. We should have wild plants. And we should have beautiful um, food growing in our gardens, you know, because the food banks are just so corrupt and the food is so corrupt. We know that, you know, are you going to line up and eat that disgusting fake meat that Gatesy Boy is making out of cells? Ew! Yuck! No. So what can you do? you captain of your own ship? Are you? Are you the captain of your own ship? Are you going to pull up your lawn, part of it, plant foods, feed your family? Are you going to filter your water? What are you going to do, friend? What action do you want to take? What action can you take? Hey, school classrooms, very infiltrated, very infiltrated. So what can you do about that? You go down to the school, a group of you peacefully and you let them know what time it is and you tell them that you're going to put audio listening equipment into the classroom so you can hear what the teacher is teaching your children, what your children are being programmed into believing, what history your children are being told so that you can fill them in the gaps that, that are being left out and more importantly what books your children are reading. We can't have cameras in there because, you know, we've got to protect our little ones. There's some really filthy, dirty pedos out there that like to look at children. We're not going to give them that power. But you have the power to tell your schools. We're going to listen in the classrooms. Now, pass this idea on. Don't just watch this and then scroll on. No. What action can you take? Are you the captain of your life? Are you in control of your life? Do you feel helpless? you feel like, what can I do? What can I do? I'm giving you a ton of ideas. I'm giving you a ton of ideas because I love you and I care about you. We are going to rise together. We are humans. We are a humanity. And our core, our soul, she's pure love. 
He's pure love. It's pure love. Pure love. It comes into the vessel and then we grow up with the programming of our parents, guardians, teachers, siblings, friends, on and on, generation, generation, generation. Well, now it's time to take our souls back, the beauty, the purity of our souls, and know that we can heal these minds, we can heal these bodies, we can heal this earth, we can clean our air, purify our water, and eat good food. This is a minimal, minimal birthright. No one is allowed to mess with it. And if you don't even consider that to be a truth, let me say this to you. Who has the right to cover up the rays of our sun? Can you even imagine that some knobhead, because he's got billions and billions and billions and squillions of dollars, that he thinks he can actually harness equipment and blot out the sun rays. How do you think your planet that's millions of years old, how do you think your planet exists? She only exists because of the sun. If there is no sun, there is no life on this planet. You're gonna let some bloke touch and mess with your son, are you? I mean, are you though? I mean, are you though? Are you really though? Are you going to allow these experiments in your sky? It's your sky. If I had a tattoo, which I don't, if I had a tattoo, it would say, my planet, your planet, our planet. Coming on a t-shirt soon, We'll have a ton of those t-shirts at the Galactic Spiritual Informers Connection for those of you that also love my slogan. But I would, I were to do that on my body. My planet, your planet, our planet. This is our planet, friends. This is our planet. Not a bunch of gray suited, chinless wonders and the women and the whatevers, the demons that plug into them. They're all run by demons, the majority. And I don't care, it's the truth. Anyway, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna ask you, please turn around to your family members and please tell them what they're doing right. Tell them what they're doing right. Start there. This is how you disarm. Or do you wanna be defensive? You did this and you did that. Well, you're gonna come in defense of self. They're gonna come straight back in defense of self. Obviously, that's how it works, right? That's basic human psychology. Tell them what they're doing right. Be honest, be sincere about it, but do not expect a response back. Because if you do, then you're manipulating the psychology of the person you're talking to. And we are clever, we know, we see that coming a mile off. Tell them what they're doing right. Sit your kids down at the table. Tell them all to their faces what they're doing right. Tell them how proud you are. Tell your grandkids, tell your grown up kids, tell your parents, tell your teachers, tell everybody, tell your boss, you know, tell everybody, tell them what they're doing right because they make a difference and you make a difference. All right, my name is Danny Henderson. Thanks for hanging out with me on my beautiful channel. I would ask you to subscribe. I never used to, but because I keep getting removed and subscribers going and algorithms being messed and the beautiful people I'm telling you about keep getting blocked, subscribe please and share this channel. All right, lots of love, and I'll see you soon.